good evening all today i'm going to talk about a simple keyboard this is a simple talk so as the name suggests uh, the key name of the keyboard is purna purna means complete in almost every indian language so uh, what mean by complete you all know about unicode so in unicode there are 128 blocks are allowed for malayalam characters in which 118 basic malayalam characters are there which is includes rk rk characters malayalam numerals etc this is the malayalam unicode chart so how many malayalis are there okay lot of can you identify these malayalam letters anybody do you understand is that malayalam you can understand this is malayalam yeah this look like a flipped wa right yes but you know most of the characters but some of the characters are also encoded in malayalam encoded in malayalam unique code but nowadays it is very not uh, recently used sorry not commonly used so let's see these are some interesting characters like this is malayalam fraction 116th so there is a malayalam character for the fraction numbers like if you translate to malayalam arakani arama moonu gani oruma randuma like like that so most of the people i am sure most of the people are hearing this for the first time this is malayalam and this was used in the old books nowadays we don't see that much but also uh, we can see the malayalam numerals you know malayalam numerals 1 2 3 in malayalam so the, so in unicode it's contains all the, that's why it is around 118 characters not 52 or 58 characters so including all of this we have 118 basic malayalam unicode characters now let's come to the typing method so how do you type malayalam what are the typing method you use malayalam so nowadays we have a lot of techniques are there you can uh, speak and that will automatically convert it to text you can use your hand write for writing any languages or you can use transliteration so transliteration means you take english and you produce malayalam or any other languages next one is inscript how many about you know about inscript and remington only few of them no in inscript is a standard which is developed by indian government to um unify all the languages all indian languages in in a standard standardized manner so in inscript every key in the keyboard is assigned to a character if uh, for example d is assigned to letter a which is same in english sorry malayalam telugu kannada hindi all indian languages so that is inscript and remington remington was uh, an old keyboard which is um, started from the time of typewriter so the purna keyboard is all about inscript and remington it is not transliteration keyboard so if we are talking about purna purna is a keyboard that include all the malayalam unicode characters so here is subin he has created varnam which is a transliteration keyboard but that kind of keyboard previous inscript keyboard and previous transliteration keyboard we can type the short characters in that we can only type the uh, common characters or commonly used character we can type the uh, character as shown below then this are the this is the purna keyboard which is we can type every character in malayalam unicode available till now if any character added later we also include that in the next version so which is available in two variants in script and remington this 
which is also available in these popular OSs in GNU Linux, Windows, Macintosh, and Android. So this keyboard is keyboard will work in almost every operating system. In GNU Linux, you can uh, there is a website called purna.smc.org.in. So you can go to there and you can download the package and you can install for your operating system. For Android, it is coming under uh, Indic keyboard. You know Indic keyboard? Not Google's Indic keyboard. You can go to Indic.app. You can download the keyboard. It is completely free and open source software. Uh, there is uh, all Indian languages are available there. A different type of uh, input methods are available there. So you can check it if you want. So in Indic app, uh, I included the Purna layout. This is the example of Purna in script layout. You can see the basic character and the character show uh, in previously. All of the Unicode Malayalam characters are included in this layout. So this is a four layer layout. Uh, first one is direct key pressing, then with the shift, you are familiar with that. If you have to access the third layer, you have to use the Alt GR key, which is the key from the right Alt, not the left Alt, the right Alt. Then right Alt plus shift is the fourth layer. So you can type almost every Malayalam Unicode character. So if you uh, press D, it is gives the Chandrakala, shift D gives A. Then right alt plus D gives, that is, uh, is used when the Sanskrit slogans are written, like that. This is the Remington layout. In both layouts, the new characters are coded in same keys, in, in script and uh, in uh, Remington. But basic characters in the both uh, are different. So. Why Purna? Because you can type all Malayalam Unicode characters. None of the other keyboard are providing that. We have to go to character, character map and pick one character and paste that before the Purna keyboard. Then it will be useful for old digitization work. If there are so many old books are there, in this kind of books, there are such a lot of characters that will be there. Also in language for language research in Malayalam, this kind of characters are also needed. So you can see the Purna is in Malayalam, also typed as, this both can be read as Purna, but um, that er character can be replaced with the dot on the top of the character. So this can also uh, be used using Purna. Also in another keyboards, if you have to type less than or greater than or some symbols, we have to switch to English keyboard. But with the help of Purna, you don't have to switch to the English version. You can use the Malayalam version itself. It's also ZWNG is a character there, which, which is used to split the character. Like if you write upload, upload, it will come as upload, not upload. So if you have to split the Malayalam character, you can use the ZWNG character, which is uh, included in this um, layout. Uh, unfortunately, in previous GNU Linux uh, in script, it was removed somehow. Yes, so when I was developing this, uh, there were some difficulties. In GNU Linux, we use XKB layout for creating this. But in XKB, single key only supports one character. But in, in, in Remington, uh, a single key can have multiple characters, like Chandrakala, Va, Chandrakala, yeah, like something that. So we have to use uh, IBUS for uh, Remington layout. Then the great news is I added uh, this Purna keyboard into X keyboard config, which is, you know, x.org. X.org is um, providing basic um, X related things to all the GNU Linux operator systems and uh, other BSD Linux uh, operator systems. So uh, I created a merge request for XKB keyboard config. 
sorry, X keyboard config, and the merger, uh, it was approved, and now Porna is merged with the official X keyboard config. And in future GNOME Linux operator system, Porna will come by default. If you install any operator system, GNOME Linux, Porna will be come by default. <laughs> now, now if you have if you are an Arch, Arch Linux user, it will be already there. Yeah. Uh, this is also Arch, it is Endeavor OS, by the way. So that is the big news. Uh, Porna is merged to it, uh, X keyboard config, which means in future operator system, you will get uh, Porna by default. So the idea was Baiju Mudugadan who is a founding member of SMC. And Jason Nadumbala just came now. He is the project, product, project coordinator, coordinator. He arranged all the things and even found a sponsor for the first version, which is MyG sponsored for the first version of the Purna keyboard. Then developer, which is me. Then <laughs> academic help was Mahesh Mangalat. And then logo was by Hiran Venugopalan. So it is. It was more common. It was a SMC project. So SMC, you know, Southern Malayalam Computing. There is some secrets uh, with uh, uh, Subin. You can collect from here. Them. Okay. Thank you. If you have any questions. Yeah. Hi. So, uh, can you mention uh, some technical details on how uh, did you made it into multi-platform? Like, how did you actually coordinate? You are just one developer. Mm. So, how did you actually meet that as a multi-platform? Actually, making a keyboard is very easy. Uh, I, uh, as a developer, it is not a challenging work. But there were some complexities in... Um, XKB, you know, uh, multiple characters in single keys won't work. So that was the main difficulty I faced in the de development process. For uh, GNU Linux, you have just how to edit a single file, and which can uh, you have to find the Unicode point and paste it there. That is the main thing. For Windows, there is a, a software called Keyboard Layout Creator, which is provided by Microsoft. You can just go to the keyboard and you can just copy paste the characters and build the uh, package. In Mac also, there was a software called Ukulele, which is also uh, using for creating keyboard. For Android, we have to write the XML files in, um, the, in the keyboard app. So this was not a technically challenging work. It was a simple work. So uh, that's how I could uh, develop all for all operating system. So let me demonstrate the keyboard. Ah, so I didn't look for that. So this is Malayalam. Then we can have this type of characters are there. Yes, this is Malayalam. <laughs> this also can't be typed as like this. So we can type anything with Malayalam, sorry, any Malayalam letter which is included in Unicode as of now. Okay, thank you. <laughs> 